Hey Cancer, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we are going to do your second week of May general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you guys are doing well. So for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Childhood by Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was a Virgo, so you could be dealing with a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. Also, I definitely feel like someone could have a parent, okay, that has strong Virgo on their chart, specifically their sun or their moon, specifically, okay? Um, you know, the message that I got with this is that something about someone's relationship or a current relationship or like a relationship that's getting ready like something that's blossoming right now is helping heal childhood trauma for either you or a love interest because i want you to see this at the bottom of both decks you have major accounts for both okay you have the will of fortune faded and destined occurrences this is a faded and destined connection that you have with this person that is going to be healing because star cards are about wish fulfillment and healing okay aquarius strong aquarius energy here could be dealing with someone who has a leo rising or a leo sun sign as well so let's see what we get for cancer sun moon rising venus individuals we're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana which is the chariot we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after and then we get clarifiers for those cards yes something with someone's childhood okay for sure especially somebody who has strong earth sign placements in their chart towards Virgo capricorn okay could be a Virgo rising because you see how the pinnacle is up and pages are young and youthful. And they, these are typically my children in childhood. So some of you guys have some strong Virgo placements or your significant other, someone that you're interested in. Also, even if they're not your significant other, someone that you're interested in could have ish, you know, something with their childhood needs to be healed and something. You, oh, my God. Look at that. You guys are watching this, right? So you got the six of cups and then you got two, two children there. And you are cups. This could be specifically related to someone who is a June with that six energy. June um, cancer doesn't have to be. But I definitely feel very strongly like somebody's childhood. You literally have all together three children. This could be a child, teenager, young adult. Whatever the case is making me feel like someone's childhood, okay, was rough. And I feel like with a connection that they've come into or they're getting ready to come into, I feel like it's being, it's healing. And also, you see how he's holding the pinnacle up like he's observing it? It's like someone realizes that childhood trauma is affecting their relationships when it comes to their romantic life. So, let's see. Let's get into it. I'm very interested in this now because, yeah, <laughs> you keep getting all these kids. Now, you had a page of cups. Yeah, and he's young and youthful. I'm telling you, somebody, you're wow. And he got the butterflies blossoming and growing. So somebody's healing. I feel like a relationship is helping someone heal or a specific relationship. Say, for instance, you're single. I feel like the next relationship that you're going to be in is going to be very healing for you, extremely healing for you. Or you may be helping heal someone, but I feel like it's both. If you have some childhood trauma, I feel like this new connection will be helping you heal. And then also, in turn, you're going to help your love interest heal as well. Then you're going to help this person heal things that they didn't even know existed. So, currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Swords. Yeah, I definitely feel like a parent, an adult figure, like a father, mother. Okay, this person was very strong. Because here's the thing. The King of Swords always gets known as being the aloof, the, the toughest king in tarot. You have a, a king and queen for all the elements, earth, air, fire, and water. But this is the one that's known for being the toughest, the most um, drastic, dramatic, the most aggressive or assertive, right? And so someone may have grown up with like a parent who ruled on an iron fist because with an iron fist rather because you see he's sitting on an iron throne. You get what I'm saying? And even though he's sitting there, it's like he's always on guard, always has something cutting, something sharp to say. Look at his face like he's always displeased with something or always just nitpicking. Somebody definitely could have dealt with a parent figure who was a nitpicker. And so they have low self-esteem or I feel like somebody has low self-esteem because childhood issues. So they're always expecting or always feeling like they're not good enough for people. I'm getting that very strong here. So let's go ahead and get a clear, um, your major arcana of the chariot. And that came up quick. So this is something that's going to be dealt with either now. You're experiencing this now. Or this is going to come up very soon. Um, if you are single, you could definitely be connecting with someone in Gemini season. May, June time frame. So right in front of you, you have the high priestess, Piscean energy. Uh, someone's first, middle, last initial could be J, B, C, O, U, M, R, P, or S. Okay. The high priestess is all-knowing, all-seeing, understands things before it even plays out. 
Um, I also, it's like a reality check. I feel like for a lot of people, someone's getting that reality check now. Like, okay, my relationships weren't lasting or my relationships weren't working for this reason. I, it's something with a very stern childhood, like dealing with a parent who was very stern, very aggressive is what I'm getting. Right behind that, you have the nine of pentacles, single woman, single man. I feel like someone has freed themselves because she's outside, so she's free. Someone has freed themselves from those restraints, those shackles of this childhood type of trauma. Oh, my God, look at that. Right up under it, you got the queen of swords. See, that's what I'm saying. And you see how either way you put them, they're going in the same direction. Somebody grew up with some rough-ass parents, man. Somebody's parents was rough, literally. And, you know, people would think, like, oh, that was childhood. Get over it. I've actually heard people say stuff like that. But... Even clinically, like clinically, you'll see when you read about childhood, how the childhood affects people. They say from like, you, you know, from toddler age to where they can experience sensory things like that. And then all the way up to your year eight, your eighth year, your home and your heart and, and things like that is setting the major foundation for your personal character traits. Um, the way that you display affection, the way that you receive affection, the way that you deal with people. It, that's a big thing. So for when people say, oh, you're a grown person now and at your big age, you shouldn't act like this or your big age, you shouldn't act like that. Everything starts at your childhood. Like everything that you see for a good bulk of our life, our parents have dominion over what we do and the people who, you know, we surround ourselves with. So it does matter. It does matter. Somebody could be dealing with a September Virgo. And I did say Michael Jackson was a Virgo. You have nine of Pentacles. Virgo season is August, September time frame bottom of the deck still we have this um page of pentacles let's part the deck hmm. all these pages that's what i'm saying something about childhood somebody's very guarded all the time or always ready to be defensive because it was like he's ready to take defense uh, he has a defensive stance here he or she just put it where it applies for you somebody's very defensive because they've been dealing with being attacked all their life she got her sword up he has his sword up somebody dealt with parents that were hell somebody also dealt with parents that were the same Element doesn't have to be the same sign, but the same element. Parents could have been an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but I feel like somebody has parents that has the same element as a sun sign. Just seen the devil, Capricorn, and a strength card. See, this is why this person is so strong, and they don't know how to just calm. They, it's like something about you, or something about this person may tame the beast. She's this person is taming the beast. Leo energy here. This person is very combative or maybe very defensive because that's what they're used to. Or sometimes it's the opposite. Like they've been so used to being beaten down or broken down that it's like they don't realize that instead of addressing the people who did it to them, they address it outwardly to everyone else. So that could be something that someone is dealing with as well. Yeah, and it's like realizing, okay, I, can, I don't have to keep holding everyone at this standard. In which I have because of my upbringing. I can let that go. And I don't have to keep holding on to... Um, family values or with stuff with your foundation because Pentacles is the foundation. I can let that go. That doesn't apply in my life anymore. You know, let's get a clarifier for the high priestess. Clarify for the high priestess. Let's get a clarifier. Okay, I've seen the car flip over. Hmm, again, look at this Queen of Swords. So I feel like somebody definitely grew up with someone who did not speak. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Are you guys looking at this? You got the Queen of Swords. You guys see. I have a whole stack right here when I move it. Queen of Swords in the back, a King of Swords. Holy shit. And who do we have here? Are you kidding me? And then didn't I say I seen the devil? And look what's peeking out to the side. The devil. Someone is breaking the chains of some toxic, toxic stuff. The devil definitely is the king of toxicity. In reverse, he has no power. He has no dominion over the situation. Sword of his just sword down. No, you have to sword down. You have to sword down. So someone has never had someone speak positive life into them and this is why they don't know how to accept positivity Ooh, for some of you guys it's definitely a um strong father figure leo sash aries gemini libra aquarius holy oh my goodness and i want you guys to see this look she's the only one on the back so it was meant for us to see these two again that's craziness so somebody has never been spoken to they have been bashed most of their life they have heard nothing but negative things about them no one has spoke positivity into their life and I feel like you are either going to help heal this and help this person see their true essence, their true light, or they're going to do this to you. Again, if you're single, I feel like somebody is coming into your reality that has a strong presence. Now, I'm, I'm also hearing you may meet somebody. If you're single, you may meet this person in Virgo season, specifically, possibly in September. 
because she's holding roses. Those are offers there. So you may have been dealing with, you may meet a couple people, but that third person is going to be the one that stands out. She has three roses, but the one right here in the middle is standing out the most. I'm getting that also. Let's get a clarifier for that Nine of Pentacles. Clarify for the Nine of Pentacles for Cancer, someone rising Venus individuals. Okay. Yeah, this is someone that you're going to have family with. You're going from the Nine to the Ten. Also, I'm going to say something from your childhood. Something from your childhood. That also could have been a mother who just up and left a family structure because she's like, I just want to be alone. I just want to do my own thing. I want to be out in the world versus want to be involved with a family. Now, that could be the case for someone. But again, for me, more than anything, the overall message is that you're going from being completely single, a single woman, single man, to being with a family structure. Some of you guys, this next person that you're going to connect with will be a family structure. Some of you guys desire and dream of this solid family structure if you're single and alone. I feel like that's going to come in. Again, something with possibly some parents who are air signs. Birds, birds are air elements. Like this, no matter what this person does, this person is always holding on because the hand is out there and he's perched. The bird is perched on that hand. I want you to also notice that she has a glove on that hand and then not on this one. So someone is like trying to protect themselves. That's like a protective barrier, trying to protect themselves from the thoughts the continuous thoughts and the continuous beliefs about the things that they heard growing up. Because again, birds are messengers. The things that they heard and messages from their parents. Some somebody's parents kind of, I don't want to say jacked them up, but somebody's parents definitely did a number on them. Emotionally, mentally, spiritually, broke them down, made them feel like they weren't worthy, like they weren't good enough. And it's like a certain love relationship. Of course, no one can heal you. You you have to do that inner healing work. But if you've been beat down by people outside of you, to hear somebody speak light and love and life into you, that's very healing in itself. That's very healing. And, I, and that's what I'm getting here. There's some healing coming in in a relationship either that you're currently in now or someone that you're going to meet, I feel, very strongly this year. Because some of you guys, they're going to be a Virgo or you're going to meet this person in Virgo season. Again, specifically in September. Okay. So Cancer, someone rising to Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click that notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.